Hey guys, it's Babs. Let's listen to your inner you. Long day. Just a quick video for uh, nighttime. Um, stop stressing. I can say this because I stress all the time about my manifestations. Deliberate manifesting. The more we do it, the better we get at it, the more we know. Oh my God, I know this works. Why isn't it working, right? But stop stressing. I'm giving you a lot of these tools so you can feel better for deliberate manifesting because deliberate manifesting actually messes with us quite a bit. It can. <laughs> it does with me, at least. Um, the better I get at it, the more it <laughs> messes with me. It's like, oh, why is it not here? Stop stressing. You know what? There's no certainty in life. There's no certainty in manifesting. We know things eventually do manifest, right? But there's no certainty in when it'll show up. So stop holding on to certainty. Stop holding on that it will happen because that creates so much attachment to all my clients. And for me, especially every time I hold on to certainty, it's like, boom, I need this, I need this, I need this. And it feels awful. So stop holding on to certainty. And the other thing is stop stressing. Guess what? You're probably doing it wrong. Who cares? You don't need this manifestation. You want to be happy and feel good and get the manifestation. But by you stressing, you're pushing everything away. You're creating resistance. You're creating attachment. You're creating more stress for yourself. How does this feel good? Do what feels good. Do your life, which is detaching. Do your life and stop stressing about the manifestation. I can tell this. I can say this to you because guess who's the master at stressing and stressing about the manifestation? Trust that the universe will take care of you. The universe is your higher self. Trust that it takes care of you. Trust is something you just have to do. It's a choice. It's a belief. It's trust. Trust that the universe, your higher self, takes care of you. Or God, whatever you call it. I don't care. And stop stressing about it. What if this doesn't happen? What if my mind does this? What if I do that wrong? Well, you know what? You don't know if you're going to do it wrong or right. You don't know if you did it enough. You don't know if you did it good enough. You don't know if you did it well enough. You have no idea. And until it shows up, you don't know if you did it right or, or anything. Stop holding on to the certainty and stop stressing yourself up. And just realize that you did it. You did everything that you know to the best of your knowledge is what Amy reminded me of. Know that you did it to the best of your knowledge. You don't know if you did it right enough, long enough, well enough. You have no idea. Nor do you have proof until it actually shows up. So why do we keep stressing over this? Why are we so stressed? Oh, what if my mind does this? What if I think that? So what? If most of your thoughts are positive and not negative, like watch Veronica's early videos. She says, you only have to um, do positive thoughts around the manifestation 51% of the time. Well, I think it's more like 75%, but who cares? If more of your thoughts are good than bad, that's great. You never have to, I'm, I'm giving you these tools, right? But you don't have to do anything perfectly good or, or get rid of all the resistance, which you can't, or get rid of all the attachment, which you can't. There's no perfect. There's no perfect in you. You're not perfect, nor do you want to be, nor should you be. You're human. You're full of faults and mistakes, and that makes us us and special and, and are manifesting the same way. We're not perfect at it, nor will you ever be, because perfection drives us nuts, stress, breaking out, right? Gaining weight, getting sick. That's stress. Stop stressing and realize, you know what? I think I did it right. I have no idea. I think it'll work. I think it'll push out. Stop hanging yourself up on uncertainty. I'm telling you this because this is something I did ever since I discovered deliberate manifesting. I, I hate uncertainty. I accept that I hate uncertainty. I accept that I don't know. I accept there is no certainty. And it feels so much better to let go of certainty because there is no certainty. Our logical mind cannot handle certainty in the future. Why are these people teaching? Okay, here. Everyone knows that our affirmations are supposed to be in the present tense, right? Because the subconscious mind only works in the present tense and manifesting only is done in the present tense. And right now, right? There's no future. There's no past. Past is for looking at what you've done um, that you should have maybe could have done different or the mistakes you made, aka the, the beliefs you had in place and the stories you had in place. The future doesn't even exist. Why are we thinking about the future? Do not think about the future. 
And by saying, I know it will happen, I know it will happen, you're going into the future. Why is anyone teaching this? If they know manifesting, manifesting is in the now only, in the present tense, and not ever in the future. So how can you know what will be in the future? Your logical mind will automatically start attaching itself. It's like, oh, I know it'll happen, I know it'll happen, and then you look for it, and where is it? You're creating resistance and attachment, and it'll make you feel like crap, and it'll keep your manifestation away. Hooray! So why not stick to uncertainty and say, you know what? I think this will happen. I'm pretty sure it will happen, but I don't know. You don't need to get rid of the whole belief. You can have belief and believe it. It, it is possible that it happened. That's why Amy teaches this. This is so useful and it works so fucking well. You only have to believe it is possible and then go from there and say, I think it'll happen, but I have no idea and that's okay. Stick to uncertainty. Doubt yourself just a little bit to make it a little more comfortable. I have a ton of clients who come to me, oh, I don't think it'll happen because they go the route of, I, they believe that, it will happen. And then that uh, will happen turns for some reason into they don't think it will happen. It turns itself around to really weird. But if you stick to, you know, I think it'll happen, but I don't know. Just bring the uncertainty up and stop stressing out because you know what? You are doing it wrong and you're doing it right. Who knows? Who cares? Do what you think is right. Do what feels right and let go and do your life and then do it all over again every day, twice a day. I don't care how often you do it. Do the four steps that Amy and I teach. Focus, however you focus, don't care. I visualize, I vision, I envision, I visualize. Sometimes I do affirmations, but I usually feel it. Do I believe it's possible or not? Yes. Check for resistance, which is limiting beliefs or thoughts or stories. And detach, I want it, I don't need it. Look up any of Amy's older videos and stick to that. And when you're done with that, do your life. That is detaching. Detaching means you are moving on. You're picking a time in the day or five times a day where you're concentrating on your manifestation. And then the rest of the time you let go. Fucking live your life and stop stressing. Oh, what am I doing? Even if you have a timeline, especially if you have a timeline, like a test or an interview or something, I'm not talking about SP. SP, fucking drop the timeline. There's no timeline. The universe, your higher self picks the timeline. You do not. The when is the how, and that is out of your limits. You cannot ever, ever determine the timeline when it comes to that. Same with tests, but with tests and appointments, you know, I understand there's a timeline, but you still have to do all the steps and then let go and accept that it may not happen or probably won't happen. I, I usually think, oh, you know what? I actually don't think it'll happen. Poof, it shows up. When do we ever know that something will show up and it shows up? Well, the example about your laptop. Okay, the laptop could have gotten lost in the mail. I don't know that. There's no certainty that the laptop would have made it to my door until it made it to my door. It happened so many times. My family sent me stuff from Germany and it took seven fucking weeks. And we thought, you know what? It's airmail. It should have arrived in two weeks because that's what... They usually say oh, it's actually a week. And I'm like, you know what? I probably got lost in the mail. And poof, at night, the fucking box is in front of my door. Twice that happened. It's when we get hung up that it should have been here. Stop. Drop the timeline. I'm yelling at you because I did it all the time. Why isn't it here? Shouldn't it have been here? If it should have been here, it would have been here. You do not. You do not have influence on the timeline. You just don't. Drop it. Drop the how. Drop the when. The when is part of the how. And stop stressing and do your life. And detaching is doing your life. And for me, I'm telling you this. I'm sharing you, sharing this with you. Sorry, tired. I always got hung up on the certainty. And it created attachment and made me feel miserable. There is no certainty. Stop watching the tarot videos. Stop looking for signs. Stop looking for, oh, one, one, one. I'm doing it right. Two, two, two. I'm doing it right. Yes. Stop it. Stop relying on your emotions because that's what I did. It's like, oh, I feel like this is going to happen. I feel this way. So it should be happening, right? I'm on the right path. Don't know. As long as you are looking for certainty, you are in so much attachment, you're not going to make it show up. That's a fact. Again, you don't have to drop all the resistance. You don't have to drop all the attachment. But there's a point where we have so much of it that it can't even let it in. Amy, when I first started working with her, I love Amy. That's why I always mention her. And, and you know, I work with her. 
When she first taught me manifesting, this is back in the day when she still taught how to manifest from the ground up. She said, imagine resistance or attachment as a brick wall in front of this beautiful meadow. Like the wall goes all the way, right? You don't have to take the whole damn wall down. You don't have to take all the attachment and all the resistance down. You only have to take enough bricks out to actually crawl through the brick wall. That's it. You don't have to eliminate all of it. Stop worrying. Stop stressing. And relax. And you relax by doing you. Do your life. And I'm giving you these other tools to, to relieve certain things. To release resistance or or attachment and detaching and this and that. Same with knowing that you have what you want. You don't have to do everything correctly. You don't have to know that you have already what you want. I just gave you that example to help you maybe feel better. But you also don't want to use, oh, I already have what I want for the certainty. Because that's what I was doing. I was using it to make myself feel certain. And, and oh, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Because I already have it. No, that I already have it is to get you away from the getting energy. I want you to get away from the, I need to get this. I'm trying to get this because you're telling the universe it's not here. So just want you to once in a while remind yourself, I already have it. You don't have to know this. You don't have to believe it to manifest it. We manifest all the time. Every day is a manifestation. Ah, my classes are bugging me with the reflection. Stop stressing. I love you. Bye.